Okay, today we're going to show you how to factory reset uh, your Hitachi TV. The procedure we're going to show you today will work with almost any Hitachi model, including the Hitachi Roku TV. Since you're watching this video, uh, you're probably having a problem with your TV. Now, I'm going to show you in a second how to do that factory reset. Uh, but I usually recommend on most of my videos trying what they call a soft reset first uh, because that, that factory reset will basically wipe your set clean and any settings, any apps and everything that you have on there you'll need to reload. So you should probably try, if possible, uh, the reset I'm going to describe here, the soft reset first. If that does not work, I'll go on with the hard reset, uh, the factory reset, and then that should take care of your problem. Now the soft reset is really easy to do. That's all you need to do is unplug the TV from the wall. Don't turn it off by the remote. Unplug it from the wall. Wait about 60 seconds and then plug it back in. In most cases, this will solve, believe it or not, a lot of your problems. Okay, if this doesn't take care of your problem, uh, then you can do the factory reset. We're going to show you how to do that now. And again, this will basically return your TV to the original way you bought it. So anything settings you made on it, any apps you loaded on it will all be gone. For most models out there, including the Hitachi Roku TV, uh, you would choose Settings, System, Advanced System Settings, Factory Reset, and then Factory Reset Everything. For some of the older or less popular Hitachi models, you would use the steps listed here. That's our video for today. As always, thank you very much for watching, and please remember to subscribe.